YouTube, what is going on today, guys? It is Mike here, and I bring you guys all a brand new YouTube video today. Today, guys, is holy cow, day 157, 156. I have no idea. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday out there, though, today. Um, today, guys, I had a very interesting topic I would love to talk to you guys today about. Um, anybody who kind of goes through the Rife machine, maybe you're seeing this completely in the future when I'm completely healed or still not doing good. I don't know guys. I'm still experimenting this for myself. I'm still pushing. I'm still kicking. I'm still doing whatever I can to get better um, and doing this. Last night though guys, I had another really rough day. I had to take another doTERRA vitamin. I was going to do a doTERRA vitamin video today, but I really got kind of sidetracked into kind of telling you guys what I was kind of feeling today. Um, Today though has been really rough. I've had a lot of OCD, a lot of compulsive behavior, um, kind of just a lot of unwanting thoughts. Um, really just, you know, and when a normal person kind of says, oh, I'm having, you know, you can kind of push that to the side. Um, a lot of my Lyme people out there can really tell that your minds are very, oh man, your minds just drift into a whole other area. Um, and just know that those are not your thoughts, okay? Those are the bugs talking. Those are not your thoughts. And I'm telling you guys that straight up, you will not act on them. You will not do anything for that, you know? And they get pretty intense. They get very, um, you know, they get really hard. And I, I've never really, I've only had it a couple times during the past three years, but it was really, really hard this morning. And actually up till about two hours ago, I've been really fighting all day with just kind of the bad thoughts kind of thing. And I really just have to put those into a mode and say, listen, that's not me. I have to keep just keeping the faith and keep on going. But today, guys, um, you know, I got all my vitamins in today. I got more doTERRA. I'll have to get make the video for you guys because there's just so many things. They, they're they all kind of vitamins, and they're just a very super multivitamin with doTERRA because I love doTERRA. It's the most amazing thing. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys today, I was reading an article today about Doug, about the Doug Coil Machines, and I like how he writes letters. He kind of did the same thing I did in Brian Rosner. I haven't read Brian Rosner's book yet, um, but I'm pretty sure he's, uh, he's on, I, I'm pretty sure he documented a lot of his treatment. If not, you know, I, I don't know, I haven't read it. Um, but I read a lot of what Doug had to say, um, and Doug really wrote a lot of stuff. He, I think he was a year and a half, two years, till he was Lyme symptom free. Um, and that's really hard. That's a very, that's a hard time because I am younger. I am only 20. Um, yes, I am only 20. And, you know, me and my brother got very, very lucky. Um, I think the longest this treatment will be will be about six months to a year to be fully kind of healed. Um, I know a lot of people who are in their 40s who are completely healed after a year. Um, so it's really about age, what kind of supplements you took, medicate, you know, there, there's so many things that contribute into your body. And if you were taking care of it, if you were eating right, working out, etc. cetera. Um, but he was kind of writing and he said, you know, when you first start your treatment, I'm, I'm so glad I started this treatment at the time I did. Um, he was explaining that towards the end of summer, August, September, you will start noticing a lot of herxing. Now, I think a hundred percent that is what is going on right now with the high fevers, the headaches, the joint, well, kind of a little bit of joint inflammation, you know, um, just kind of lungs are feeling a little bit like just uh, a little bit more heated. You know, I'm, I, I'm just, my body temperature has risen. There's so many little things that are just kind of playing in right now um, that I've never, I've never had before in my entire, I swear to you, in about three years, I've never had one of these symptoms before. Um, I'm also having the the OCD, the compulsive disorder, and I really think it's because it's going, it's shifting into winter, um, and that's something that I hope I can kind of get, because my brother and me started the treatment at the same time, and he was kind of fine towards winter, um, so I'm really hoping that I can, because usually when it's winter time, I really crash, I really, I just have such a bad time in the winter, so I'm really hoping I can have some success there. Um, but you know, he's right though, you know, if I honestly do towards June or towards June and July, I'm really just on top of my game. I feel great. I feel just motivated. And then really August is where I definitely noticed last year before I went into a really big funk. That's what happened. Um, so I'm just hoping I bounce back really well. Um, and just really don't crash and burn like I have before. So we'll have to, I hope you guys still pray for me for that. Um, another thing too, though, that I wanted to add just before I end this video, 
um, is the, I did the Lyme disease frequency today, I did the 466 for two minutes, um, and I think I had a pretty big Herx today too with that, I definitely felt a lot of, my fever definitely elevated a little bit, um, and was having a lot of just, you know, those thoughts all day, but that was right as I woke up, I think that was something different, um, long story, but, you know, it's really, it's a hard treatment, guys, this is not something that people are, you know, people are going to experiment for years, but like I said, I, I'm mentally, uh, well, I guess so. I'm I'm probably about 20%, but I you know I know I'm gonna get better. I've seen and heard too much good stuff to know that I'm not gonna quit and I'm not gonna fail at this. So I hope I can you know keep succeeding from this. But I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Um, like I said, the past couple months has been really really hard. Um, you know, and I just, I hope you guys know, I hope I can make more lively videos where I'm out in public and I'm talking to people and have a job and just, that's really, that's all I pray for. That's all I think about all day is just having a job and just being able to do what I can do and not like drink and smoke before, but you know what I mean? Like just have a normal, healthy life. Um, so I just hope I can do that, but I'm going to let you guys go. I like to just ramble a little bit. What, maybe this video will come back in time and see, okay, I'm saying too much. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.